Hello. Uh, in this set, uh, again, we'll be looking at a CAT 2017 LRDI uh, problem. <coughs> uh, please give your feedback and comments on uh, 9146064750. This is our WhatsApp number. You can also look at our courses on www.topmytest.com or you can buy them instantly on Instamojo at this given address. <coughs> Okay. Uh, now, this is a question which came in CAT 2017 second slot. Uh, this is one of the lengthier questions in that slot. Okay, uh, This takes a lot of careful time and effort. So if you are actually solving a question like this, ideally this should be solved in the middle of the test where you have enough time to think and you are not rushed for time. <coughs> Okay, uh, the question is not very difficult, but it's not easy. It's pretty lengthy, actually. Uh, let's see if we can solve it in a faster manner uh, using the techniques that we have. Uh, there are seven elective courses, E1 to E7, running in a specific term in a college. Each of the 300 students, so there are 300 students enrolled, had chosen just over just one elective from these seven. So everyone chooses one elective. However, before the start of the term, E7 was withdrawn. So this E7 was withdrawn. As the instructor concerned had left the college, the students who had opted for E7 were allowed to join any of the remaining electives. Also, the students who had chosen other electives were given one chance to change their choices. So E7 goes, they can move to any of the remaining other electives and even E1 can go to some other electives, E2 can go to other electives and so on. The table below captures the movement of the students from one elective to the other during this process. Movement from one elective to the same elective simply means no movement. So this is your original one. Okay, uh, so if you were to look at it, out of all the students in E1, nine students stayed in E1, which means these people did not move at all. Five moved from E1 to E2, 10 moved from E1 to E3, one moved from E1 to E4, uh, four moved from E1 to E5, and two moved from E1 to E6. So if you add along the rows, you will find the original number of people. Okay, now. If you look at the two part, okay, these many people moved from E1 to E2, these many people moved from E2 to E2, which means they remained here, E3 to E3, E3 to E2, E4 to E2, E5 to E2, E6 to E2, E7 to E2. So if we add along the columns, if you add along the columns, okay, you will find the new number of people. Okay, obviously, there, there is no people lost and uh, lost in transition. So the total along the rows will be same as total along the columns, which should be around 300 people. <coughs> okay, so 300 people. Okay, there are some which are blank. Let's see what the blanks say. Some member, uh, some numbers in the table got accidentally erased. However, it is known that these were either 0 or 1. So wherever it is blank, it can be either 0 or 1, cannot be anything else. Okay. Further, there is more information before the change of process. There are six more in E1 than E4. But after the reshuffle, the number of students in E4 was three more than E1. The number of students in E2 increased by 30 after the change process. Before the change of process, E4 had two more than E6, while E2 had 10 more than E3. Okay, so let's see how we can solve this. Uh, I have taken out the uh, relevant information. Uh, all empty cells are 0 or 1. Uh, total is 300. Okay. I'll just write total is 300. Okay. Uh, further, you have before change, after change. And I've taken a summary of all, all of them. <coughs> now, as we discussed here, if you take the totals along the row, it should be the number of people originally there. And if you take the people, uh, take it along the columns, it should be the number of people after the movement okay so now e1 we know already before the movement how many people are there so you have 14 24 25 25 plus 6 31 people were there before the movement okay others are not known totally e7 we know how many are there so you have 20 50 55 60 101 there are 101 people in e7 and they will all move to some other elective Okay, now let's see what we have. Before change, E1 was 4 more than E6. 
so e1 was 4 more than e6 uh, 4 more 6 more than e4 6 more than e4 e1 is 31 so e4 should be 25 before 25 before okay now let's see what do we have in e4 here you have 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 14 is 23 23 i have been already accounted for now these two are missing now the only way this can reach 25 is if both of them are one because every cell can be at most 0 or 1 at most 1 it can be 0 or it can be 1 it cannot be 2 so this cannot be 2 and this cannot be 0 now this total is 23 18 plus 5 23 to reach 25 both these cells have to be one each okay so we also know how many students were there in e1 beforehand okay e2 increased by 30 now if you observe e2 this is the number of people after the movement i can take this column i know the number of people after the movement and i know this increased by 30 so this number will be 30 less than this total so let's total this this is 39 plus 6 45 48 53 60 76 this total is 76 so after the movement it is 76 before the movement it should be before the movement it should be 46 okay now there are some options which are there uh let's see if we can eliminate some of the options okay it says after the change of the process which of the following is the correct sequence of number okay this is 76 all of them are 76 okay so that does not help <coughs> okay we'll come back to this we'll we can probably use this later on this because this gives you this total fully so we'll try to use this later on <coughs> okay what else do we have after change e4 became e1 plus 3 e4 became e1 plus 3 okay we don't know how many are there right now okay we'll come back to this before the change e4 was 2 more than e6 e4 was 2 more than e6 so this number would be 23 2 more than e6 now let's see what is the total here 9 plus 2 is 11 11 plus 10 <coughs> 11 plus 10 is 21 to reach 23 both of them have to be one both of them have to be one each so this will have to be one this will have to be one okay this is very nice okay all right this is used okay before the change e2 was 10 more than e3 e2 was 10 more than e3 so this number should have been 36 let's see what is the total here this is 8 33 33 plus 2 is 35 so i need one more one can be from one of these two places this can be 0 or 1 this can be 0 or 1 okay but i don't know where the one is coming from so right now there is no point writing this okay all right now we know this total has to be 300 right so we can find the rest of the number here okay we can find the rest of the number here uh <coughs> okay uh, let's add this and see if we can add something for e2 this is 42 plus 4 46 this is 46 so this has to be 0 this has to be 0 okay this is nice okay these two have to be 0 oh, there is no other number to fit here <coughs> okay so this total is 300 so let's add this uh 101 this is 124 149 149 155 195 225 226 to 56 262 so this total has to be 38 this total has to be 38 to make it 300 okay 30 plus 5 is 35 30 plus 5 is 35 so i need 3 from here so 1 1 3 of them will be 1 1 of them will be 0 all right uh okay let's add the columns and see if we can get something out of this e3 is 33 35 
सिक्सटी सेवेंटी सेवेंटी एट दिस इज सेवेंटी एट प्लस द सेवेंटी एट और सेवेंटी नाइन ओके सो सेवेंटी एट और सेवेंटी नाइन विच इज़ वॉट दिस इज हेयर ओके लेट्स सी वॉट इज ई फोर ई फोर इज फाइव सिक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन प्लस ट्वेंटी वन और हायर ट्वेंटी वन और हायर सो इट कैन बी ट्वेंटी टू इट कैन बी ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी वन ओके दिस डज नॉट हेल्प ओके नाउ वी नो ई फोर इज थ्री मोर देन ई वन आफ्टर द चेंज ओके लेट सी वॉट इज ई वन आफ्टर द चेंज इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन थर्टीन प्लस फोर सेवेंटीन और हायर नाउ दिस इज ऑलरेडी ट्वेंटी वन इज ऑलरेडी ट्वेंटी वन ओके एंड इट कैन ओनली गो हायर नाउ देर इज ओनली वन सेल विच कैन बी चेंज हेयर विच इज दिस वन it has to reach at least 18 in order to it has to reach at least 18 in order to uh, be 21 plus uh, uh, in order to satisfy this criteria okay so which means this number cannot exceed 21 so these two should be zero and this should be one so this should be 17 plus 1 which should be 18 okay and this should be exactly 21 okay so i know these three numbers for sure let's eliminate the options i can use the options to get the rest of the answers so you have 18 should be the first one so this is out this is out 76 this is fine 78 plus both of them are 79 so this number should be 79 okay this number should be 21 so this cannot be an answer this should be the answer okay so this should be 79 this should be 45 Five and this should be sixty-one. Okay, so let's fill in the numbers because now we can fill up everything because we have the options now. This is eighteen, eighteen plus okay, thirty-three, thirty-five, sixty, seventy-eight. So this should be one. Okay, uh, this is one, one, thirty-seven, uh, thirty-seven. So this should also be one. Let's check if this is sixty-one. Fifty, fifty-one, fifty-one plus ten, sixty-one. Okay, this is fine. This should be forty-five. So let's verify this. Six, seven, seven plus thirty, thirty-seven, thirty-seven plus five, uh, thirty-seven plus seven is forty-four. This should be one. Verify this. Three, three plus two, five plus six, eleven plus twenty-five, thirty-six. Okay, this is fine, and this also matches the option. So. we can use the options and get the answer here so this should be there uh, now we can answer all the questions how many elective courses from e1 to e6 had a decrease in enrollments how many had decrease okay from 31 it has become 18 so that is one decrease 46 to 36 it's an increase 36 to 79 it's an increase 25 to this is exactly 21 so that is two two decreases 38 to 45 it's an increase 23 to 61 is also an increase so <coughs> two courses saw a decrease in enrollments option 3 we have already solved question 2 let's look at question 3 after change in process which course among e1 to e6 had the largest change in enrollment as a percentage of its original enrollment so change as a percentage of original e1 even the change is a drop of 13 on 31 okay that's more than 50% okay for e2 e2 the change is 30 on 46 that's also more than 50% we'll come to this for e3 from 36 it has become 79 from 36 it has become 79 so that's a rise of 43 on 36 that's more than 100% so these two are out so it can be e3 or e6 e6 it has gone from 23 to 61 23 to 61 that's a rise of 38 on 23 38 on 23 or 36 on 43 36 150 percent will be 54 150 percent will be 23 plus 12 35 okay this is more than 150 percent rise this is less than 150 percent rise so option 4 will be a correct choice okay <clears throat> and the last one later the college imposed a condition if a, after the change of electives the enrollment in any elective other than e7 drop to less than 20 so any enrollment which drop to less than 20 which means only e1 will be affected with this 
all the students who had left that course will be required to re-enroll for that elective. Which of the following will be the correct sequence and decreasing order of their final enrollments? All the people who left will have to go back to the go back to the original course. Okay. So from 18, who are the people who left? Five people went to E2. 10 people went to E3, 1 went to E4, 4 went to E5, 6, 2 went to E6. Okay, so let's see which one uh, you need to find decreasing order in the final. So highest to lowest. So let's see what helps. Uh, highest will be one of these two. Either it will be E3 or E2. All of them have E3 or E2 because these have the maximum okay so this will drop by 5 so this will become 71 this will drop by 10 so this will become 69 so highest will be this one highest will be this one okay uh, so e2 will be the highest so this is out these three are there next one can be either next one will be e3 after e2 will be e3 because 69 this can only drop this cannot rise anymore so e2 e3 so this is also out e2 e3 then either e5 or e6 okay e5 will drop from 45 to 41 e6 will go from 61 to 59 so it will be e2 e3 and then e6 e2 e3 and e6 option one will be your option one will be your correct choice right so just by using the options and uh, we actually solve the question instead of solving the full one Okay, so this was a set which came in uh, CAT last year. Hope you liked uh, this uh, video. Uh, please do leave your comments and feedback uh, uh, on our WhatsApp number. As usual, if you like to know more about our courses, you can go to topmytest.com. You can also call on this number. We'll help you out with it. Thank you very much. See you next time.